Andy. Come on, move it. Move it, move it. Hello. So somebody commented on one of my videos asking me to talk about the NYRB books that I had on my shelves. And um, I thought I would just pull them all out and talk about what I like about them and uh, go through them as best I can. Uh, so Mallory, if you're watching, I hope this uh, can be interesting to you or uh, maybe helpful. Um, the NYRB books are probably my, my favorite <clears throat> of the of the paperback books. Um, I also like Oxford. Uh, I like Oxford more than Penguin. And I, from everyone that I've talked to, I'm kind of in the minority in that sense, but it's just my preference. Um, I think that uh, the New York Review of Books publishing house, um, for one, they just, they, they, I feel like they make a quality book and it's handsomely packaged. It's very attractive and uh, the paper feels good in your hand. Um, it feels sturdy. Um, so as, as far as the physicality of the book, I think it's very well constructed for a paperback. Um, but their um, chief charm to me is that is the selection of books. And um, I don't know if it's the best way to describe it, but I, I feel like they're like little treasures um, that you discover. They uh, mostly publish books that um, they might be well-known authors, but the the titles uh, aren't as popular, or they were authors that were popular in their day, and now I've kind of gone out of fashion. So there's like the little discoveries um, that you can find across um, their entire catalog. Uh, Mallory, you mentioned that you had interest in Russian literature, so I'm going to start with that. And I'm just going to go through, I, I pulled out like a ton of books, uh, and I'm going to try to go through them pretty quickly. Um, so I'll start with uh, Pushkin, um, The Captain's Daughter. It's a historical novel or novella. Um, it's quite good if, if you're looking for um, like a longer prose work by Pushkin, I would recommend it. <clears throat> um, the Slinks by Tatiana Tolstana, however you say that. Uh, apparently it's Tolstoy's granddaughter, and it's sort of a science fiction, fantasy, post-apocalyptic uh, book, and uh, it was quite enjoyable when I read it, which was years ago. Um, th this is why I love NYRB books. This is an author that I had never heard of, and is now one of my favorite authors. It's Andre Platonov. Um, and I, I've read the, uh, the Foundation Pit, Soul, Happy Moscow, and th he's in incredibly good. Um, I, I want to reread all of these. When I was reading The Foundation Pit, I remember reading it and thinking I can't wait to reread it. It was so phenomenal. Um, Turgenev, who's, um, very well known, and this is, a, it's either his last novel or a later novel, um, and so it's just nice if, if somebody likes Fathers and Sons, or, um, his, whatever it's called, Hunter's Sketchbook, it's just another opportunity to enjoy Turgenev. Um, Chekhov, um, Peasants and Other Stories, I haven't read all of them, but it's just great to have. Um, and he, here's another one that I've recently started reading. Um, Vasily Grossman. Big, thick thing. Uh, probably one of the gr greatest books that I've read in 10, 15 years. Uh, just astonishing. It's um, on the size and scope of War and Peace. Um, it goes goes through the World War, um, and then which I, I haven't read this, but Stalingrad, which is the prequel to 
Life and Fate. Um, probably early next year I'm going to st start this. Um, and if it's any anything like Life and Fate, I'll just kind of crack through it very quickly because it's hard, hard to put down. Uh, Everything Flows, which uh, sort of like reportage of all the horrors and atrocities that were witnessed. Um, it's a great little book. They also have um, strange, offbeat things that they can publish. So this is uh, Lost Time by Joseph Kapetsky. I, I can't pronounce it. This was a guy that was in like the Soviet labor camps or something and he read Proust and loved Proust and he had memorized whole passages of Proust and so he started giving lectures in, in the in the prison camps and it was a way for him to express himself and he, he found meaning he found meaning in Proust I actually went back and read several volumes of Proust because of this very interesting um, that's about it for the proper Russians um, kind of still in that area uh, Steven Zweig um, I've read I think I've read all of these now but um, you know they just have a great selection of a really great writer um, Confusion, Dreaming to the Past, Post Office Girl, Chess Story. If if you were looking to start to read anything by Stephen Zweig, I'd recommend Chess Story. Um, here's something else by some guy with a fantastic name. It's Hugo von Homsthal. I don't know. Um, I read one of the stories. I don't remember anything about it other than it was beautifully written. Um, Anyway, on to the French, and I got a lot more French books than Russian. Um, Monsieur Proust by Celeste Albert, Albert, however, and it was uh, Proust's housekeeper. Uh, if anyone wants to read more about Proust or know about his life, uh, I would highly recommend it. It was very interesting. Uh, Blood Dark by Louis... Gillow, can't pronounce it. Uh, this is great. Uh, the Pages from the Goncourt Journals by Edmund and Jules de Goncourt. And uh, this is a couple of fishwives gossiping about all, all these famous people. And if uh, anyone that likes, um, like, uh, you know, Flaubert and. Um, Baudelaire and Victor Hugo and Zola and on and on and on. Uh, they have wonderful anecdotes. Uh, Nature Stories by Jules Renard. It's a bestiary. Uh, one of my all-time favorite writers, Guy de Maupassant. Um, they have a float and Alien Hearts. Uh, Alien Hearts, I think, was his last novel when his head was full of syphilis. It's really good. Um, the notebooks of Joseph Dorbo, however you say that. Um, it's like fragments of things. I haven't read it cover to cover uh, and it's kind of forgettable. Uh, this is great. Novels in Three Lines by Felix Fignon. And he was an anarchist and uh, all sorts of wild things, but he wrote uh, little headlines for French newspapers and it's a collection of them. And uh, they're they're just wonderful. I feel like if I if I was a dentist, this is the kind of book I would have in the waiting room. Uh, Schlump, uh, another Montpassant like Death. Uh, this actually might be his last one. I can't remember. Uh, Chaos and Chaos and Night by Henry de Mont Um My friend Bob recommended this to me before he died. Um, <clears throat> Shakespeare's Montaigne, so this is the Florio translation, and this was in particular interest to me because Shakespeare was reading Montaigne, Montaigne was reading Plutarch, and Plutarch is one of my favorite writers. I spent a long time reading Plutarch, so um, 
for me, uh, this was interesting. Uh, Balzac. Uh, these are short stories. Um, again, one of the great things about NYRB is Balzac wrote like a hundred novels. And it, it always seems like there's only like ten that are actively in circulation, published. And it's really nice that they've... Um, recently been publishing more stuff. These are short stories and they still connect to the larger um, human comedy. Um, <clears throat> well, check off again. These are uh, the prank and other stories. It's um, stories that he wrote uh, when he was younger. Uh, Dead Souls by Nikolai Gogol. Uh, another Russian. Uh, this is my preferred translation. I've read three translations. Uh, Donald Rayfield. I don't know why, but I, I remember maybe he captured the humor. Um, one of my favorite writers, uh, Theophile Gautier. Um, the only the other thing that I've read by him is Mademoiselle de Maupin, uh, which I found in a Penguin classic. Uh, but these are some short stories. It's translated by Richard Holmes. He was the biographer that um, um, wrote biographies on Coleridge and Shelley and a couple other people. Um, Memoirs from the Grave. I think it's Francois René de Chateaubriand. Probably butchered that. Um, I haven't read the whole thing, but for a long time I would keep it by my bed and read passages. Um, incredibly beautiful. It's uh, Proustian. Proust was reading a lot of him. And you, you, you can tell. Um, another uh, Balzac. It's um, the Unknown Masterpiece. Uh, the Child by Jules Velez. Uh, Memoirs to Young Wives by Balzac. Um, Hill by Jean Junio. I'm actually going to stop there. I'm kind of... Tea is um, made from monk fruit and hemp. That's terrible. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna stop there. Um, so uh, let me know if you found this interesting. Um, Mallory, again, I hope some of this was helpful. Um, if anyone wants me to talk about any, any of these books in more detail, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to do so. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.